Hey, what's going on? This is David Hamner. And about eight years ago, uh, my wife and I found ourselves in a place of, you know, typical American family working uh, nine to five. My wife was actually able to work from home and I was running a startup company. So, you know, working a hundred hours, making nothing, you know, for potential uh, gain, if you will. And we just had a feeling that our life was, you know, meant for more and, and to live a bigger life is what we were being called to. And, you know, the state that we were in, you know, barely paying the bills and maybe, you know, maybe putting a little savings uh, up every month. That just wasn't going to give us the big life that we felt called toward. And so we actually found the network profession about eight years ago. And for the first time, we kind of dreamt bigger and saw what our life could potentially be uh, with extra finances. And that's just, you know, that's all we could see at that time. And so we're very blessed that we did come across this profession um, or this industry, we, you know, lots of, of personal development happened. We learned a lot of things, a lot of communication. So, so many positives out of that. However, um, you know, that, that business model was kind of broken and we didn't know that being, you know, in that, you know, we had mild success, but it came at such sacrifice. You know, we were driving all over town, having parties, you know, always trying to get on the phone with three-way calls. We were walking out on family dinners, and it was just very disruptive, uh, you know, if I can be uh, honest looking back on that. And so uh, about two years ago, we found ourselves in a place where the company we were with actually shut down their business model um, kind of overnight. And so our paycheck went out the window. And at the same time, my wife was about to give birth to our twins, who are now two and a half years old. And our life was a little chaotic at that time. And so after, you know, the company shut down, we didn't really know what to do. However, we knew what we had been doing was not for us anymore. And we were very reluctant to take a look at this. Uh, I had been following somebody and kind of liked what they did on social media. So... Uh, she finally reached out, gave us some information, and we saw a few differences, and we decided to jump in. And looking back, being on this side, you know, when we started, it was a step-by-step -step system, first off. So it was, it was a game plan already for us, ready to follow. It was made to attract people to us. And being able to just utilize, you know, social media and online from our phones that gave us time freedom. You know, I, I still own a construction company, but I was able to scale back because of the income from this opportunity. And we quickly grew and we are, you know, got to the top of the compensation plan. But another big thing is our team is winning here and that did not happen elsewhere. And so, you know, what this is for us, you know, being able to, you know, leverage our income online and, you know, pop in the chats here and there, you know, throughout the day. And if you choose to put some intentional time, you know, uh, in the evening for us, we do that when the kids go to bed. Um, but man, this is a scalable opportunity because you can leverage your time and your income being able to, you know, not be tied to, you know, phone calls and all this extra time. It's, it's from your phone. You know, we teach people how to do this in an hour a day. And so definitely something you can fit you know, uh, busy people fit into your schedule being able to do that. So we're so excited that, you know, this is going to be our future. You know, like I said, I was able to scale back in my business. My wife is a stay at home mom with our three daughters. You know, that's big for us. We want to be the major influence in their life. And then as a man, you know, I personally see too many friends and too many dads work too much and not have, you know, time freedom for their family. And so I'm trying to change that for my family, and I would love for the same thing for a lot of dads out there to bring them home too, because that's where my heart is. So if I could share anything to anybody that's on the fence and you're looking at this opportunity, there's a plan in place. There's, there's hope that there's something different out there than what you've experienced before. I'm in the middle of it. I can you know share my story, and I just hope that this inspires somebody to take action to change their, you know, situation in their life. Thank you.